I have always thought of myself more as a fox than a hedgehog. And at Columbia, being a fox worked out really well. And it was Columbia that gave me that ability to become myself. The lively, exciting, unusual urban place that it is. It's, it always turns me on. <laughs> I give to Barnard because of the transformative effect it had on my life. Margarita Bros, Barnard College, 1984. Barnard changed my life in a lot of different ways. To be here in this courtyard reminds me of being a freshman my first day on campus. I was a very shy young woman um, before I came to Barnard, but here I was encouraged to be and uh, take the reins and do what I wanted to do. And I started a, um, an a cappella group on campus, which is still in existence today, the Bacante. <laughs> And when I joined the track team, um, I noticed a need for leadership and I took it and, and became the captain of the team my senior year. Being president of the Alumni Association of the college was what really brought me back uh, in, into the arms of the college and to getting to know the young women that are here today. And that more than anything has kept me even more inspired about keeping com uh, involved with the college and committed to its future. And I'd always wanted to to create a scholarship, uh, and I had the means to do so through some matching funds from my, my company. Um, I said, well, you know, I was involved with varsity athletics, it would be lovely to, for that to go to a varsity athlete. And I've had the privilege of meeting every young woman that has um, received that scholarship to date. I went to several other schools, um, but Barnard is where I spend all my time, I think, and give most of my money. James Leitner, School of International and Public Affairs. I've always been incredibly curious about almost anything. Most people think about finance as something very rigorous, economically driven, mathematically driven. I invested in Russian stocks after reading a book review. Maybe it wasn't a good reason to invest, but it was very successful. It worked out very well. Investing in Russia in 2002 you know, was a great time to invest. The School of International Affairs was not a school that said we are going to force you to become the best doctor or uh, the best engineer, but they said the world's a big place. There are lots of ways to think about the world. One of the things that I have been very involved with has been establishing student internships to send students abroad so that they can themselves explore the world, do research, meet people. It's been an incredibly rewarding experience. I love giving back. Giving back to Columbia has been just a pure pleasure. It doesn't pay to wait for the school to come to you and ask you to do something. When you notice that something needs doing, just go and do it. Grab some alumnus, go and do it. Create a group of friends, go and do it. And I think that is how you change the world to the better, and that's how you change Columbia for the better. Helen Coleman Everts, School of General Studies, 1970. I had been a college student at uh, Bryn Mawr. I was the class of 1950 there. I got engaged right away. I got married and had children, and I found I was missing something in my life. I decided I really wanted to finish my degree and where to do it. So I looked around and everybody told me the place to do it was Columbia General Studies. And suddenly the, uh, the world, the life of ideas became important to me. So when I became a teacher, that was exactly what my whole life had been leading me toward. <laughs> and it was Columbia that gave me that ability to become myself. <laughs> The main activity I have done was I started this, the Friends of General Studies and we met here once a month in this room and we made plans for a dinner every year that was given in Low Library and it was for the alumni to get them to come back to the school and it was to show our New York City friends uh, that Columbia existed and was a very exciting place to be. We were very much the stepchild of the campus and we felt that very strongly. Another thing our group did was to lobby to get a BA for our graduates rather than the BS that we had been given. 
here I am part of this great institution, walking in its academic parade. And the day before, I had handed out awards at General Studies, and that to me was wonderful. Very exciting. I mean, in my wildest dreams, I had never thought that I too could be wearing a cap and gown at a Columbia graduation. Stephen H. Case, Columbia College and the Law School. What I always liked best about Columbia was uh, when the professor was answering questions. You could see the thoughtful mind at work processing something that was new or slightly different. And I always found that to be very illuminating. And I had a wonderful, uh, very stimulating, excellent legal education from uh, Columbia that serves me well every day. I love the university. I, if I'd been a better student, I'd be working for one. And I just love being around. You hear about research and scholarship, and it's just so exciting. It's much more interesting than anything else I do. You are linked with the institution, and it's a two-way street. The institution needs uh, support. Uh, they don't sell equity when they need uh, more money for expansion. They have to depend on philanthropy. And the principal source of philanthropy is alums. And then there are the continuing benefits that the institution confers on you. Uh, if it's a prestigious, highly regarded institution like Columbia, it helps you uh, when that's how you identify yourself and introduce yourself to people. Congratulations, I'm so proud of you. Thank you very much. It was a wonderful thrill to get the medal. I love being around. I don't regard myself as an important person. I regard myself as a faithful oar puller somewhere in the boat. I don't think I deserve any recognition. So when you get it, you say, wow, me? This is wonderful. <laughs>